Hey guys, we have been given two explicit formulas and we want to find the recursive formula for the same sequence in each of these cases. Now I'm assuming you are a bit familiar with recursive and explicit formulas as we do this video. If that's not the case, I'm just going to link a video for you in the corner that you should probably check out first. All right. So here we have explicit formulas. Now the difference between explicit and recursive formulas is that with an explicit formula, we can just plug in, we're referring to sequences, right? We can just plug in, I want to know the 50th term. We can just plug that in to my explicit formula and find it, right? With a recursive formula, you can also find any term, but you have to know the one before it, right? If I want to know the 10th term in the sequence, I need to know the ninth. So that is the difference here. So the first thing I am going to do to try and switch this from the explicit formula to the recursive is I want to figure out the first few numbers in my sequence. Okay. So for that, I'm just going to plug in some numbers for n. Okay. So I want to know the first term in the sequence, which would mean n equals one, right? And then we can just find n equals two. We can just, find, let's just find like four of them the first four numbers in the sequence. So if I plug in one for n, I am going to get a sub one, or the first number in my sequence is negative two times n, which is one plus 32. Oh, not 22 guys, <laughs> 32. Write down what you say. Okay, so then that would give me negative two plus 32 which would end up giving me 30. So when I plugged in one for N, I got 30, which means that the first number in my sequence is 30. Let's go ahead and plug in two. I'm going to scoot over a little to give myself a little more room. So if I'm looking for a sub two, I take negative two times it by two plus 32, which gives me negative four plus 32, right? which will end up giving me 28. So the next term in my sequence is 28. Let's figure out the third term. You might be noticing a pattern, but we wanna make sure that's the pattern. So if I wanna know the third one, I take negative two, multiply it by three, add 32. So I end up with negative six plus 32, which is 26. Okay. And then if I want to know the fourth term, I'm going to take negative two times it by four plus 32, which gives me negative eight plus 32, which gives me 24. Now this keeps going, right? I could plug in whatever number I wanted for N to figure that out. But what I need to know in order to do my recursive formula is I need to know the first number in my sequence, check, and I need to know what is being added or subtracted or whatever in this sequence. So now that I figured those out, I know that we are subtracting two each time, right? So my recursive formula is going to be a sub n, meaning whatever number you want to find. You take the number before that one, right? Which, how do I write that in math language? I write it as a sub n minus one. Meaning if you want to know the fourth term, you need to know the third, right? And subtract two from it. That's where the a sub n minus one comes in. So whatever one you want to find, take the one before it. And in this case, we are subtracting two. That is my recursive formula. Now, in order for this to be helpful for someone, we always like to list what the first term is. A sub one is 30. There we go. Okay, let's look at this guy. So I want to know the first term, right? And then we can probably, we can just figure out three you can figure out more if you want, but we'll just do one, two, and three for this one. So when I plug in one for N, I get a sub one equals 11 times N, which we're plugging in one 
minus 6. So I end up with 11 minus 6, which is 5. If I plug in 2, so, sorry, <laughs> I went kind of fast. That means 5 is the first number in my sequence, right? A sub 1 equals 5. A sub 2, the second number in my sequence, we're going to take 11, multiply it by 2, and subtract 6. So 22 minus 6, which gives me 16. So 16 is the second number. If I want to know the third term in this sequence, a sub 3, I'm going to take 11, multiply it by 3, subtract 6, which gives me 33 minus 6, which gives me 27. Again, we could figure out more if we really wanted to, but we have enough numbers to figure out the pattern. So what are we doing each time? Well, we are adding 11 each time. So how do I write whatever number you want to find, take the one before and add 11. How do I write that in math terms? I say whatever number you want to find, a sub n, meaning you plug in whatever you want for n. That is equal to the number before it, a sub n minus 1, plus 11. Okay, that is my recursive formula. And we always, with recursive formulas, want to say what our first term is. And in this case, we figured out it was 5. All right, there we go, peeps. Hopefully this helped. I will link a playlist with lots more videos on this topic if you need them. Thank you.